everyone who's ever succeeded failed at the same thing before the success. So if you've failed your fitness journey, it's a good sign that you're on track for success. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Sorry, I've just actually warmed up my lunch, <laughs> my meal prep. But I feel like this video needs to be done. So I'm gonna let that cool a little bit while I talk to you guys about the subject of failure. This is a video that I'm really excited about because I think everyone needs to hear it. It's something that I've had to learn and I think we don't talk about enough. But today is all about failing, specifically failing your fitness journey. If you're watching this, there's a good chance that you might feel like you have failed your fitness journey. And I want to encourage you that you have not. The fact that you are alive and breathing and watching this means that you have not failed. What you have experienced is part of the journey, whether that be a blip, a dip, whatever you wanna call it, it is part of the journey of success or towards success. Is it, it is not failure. Failure is when you decide to stop trying. That is when you failed. Everything else is just a meanwhile. We haven't gotten to the end result yet, so you can't really call the score. It's like getting to half time and saying, we've lost. Well, no, the match is still going on. So just to encourage you, you haven't failed. But if you still feel like you have failed, I also want to encourage you that so is everyone else who has ever succeeded <laughs> at anything in life. You know, Usain Bolt, he lost races and he needed to go through that experience of losing races in order to become the incredible athlete that we know and love this day. Serena Williams, she lost matches. That was all part of her journey and success to be the greatest of all time. Oh, I'm such a big fan of Serena, but another story for another day and um, so yeah no matter what you're doing in life there will be times where you try something and it doesn't go the way you want it and that's okay the important thing is how we respond to that failure okay so if you respond by saying oh I'm just not the kind of person who exercises regularly fitness is not for me I can't do this I can't eat healthily because I ate a whole cake oh no I failed that's it but closed then you've decided to quit and stop trying and that is where the failure comes from. Or you can reflect on the fact that you've had a gym membership for 12 months and only been twice, the fact that you ate a whole birthday cake and a Domino's pizza yesterday when it wasn't even your birthday. You can reflect on those things and say, cool, that's part of the journey. I'm gonna do better tomorrow and I'm gonna keep moving forward. Which brings me to my recommendation for when you feel like you failed. This is something that I try to live by or apply all the time in every area of my life as much as I can. So, fail, reflect, try. F-R-T, I wish it was more catchy, but fail, reflect, try. So, whenever I wanna do something, I fail at it. <laughs> like, literally everything. I don't think there's one, there's very, I don't think there's anything in life that I've tried in like, been perfect at the first time. So whether it's learning a song on guitar, whether it's making YouTube videos, you try it and you fail, but it doesn't end there. You then reflect, you reflect on what happened? What was it about this experience that wasn't the way that you wanted it to be? Why did that happen? Just sit down and think about it and reflect and be honest with yourself. And then you try again, using the reflections that you've done and what you've learned from that reflection, you apply new things to try again, because you know, as they say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try again using a different technique. And if we put this practically, let's use an example of trying to drink more water. So you're like, I wanna drink more water because I wanna be super healthy. I wanna be glowing skin on fleek. And then the next day you drink like nanny a cup, you barely drink anything. And so you're like, oh man, tick box for number one, I failed. I failed on my New Year's resolution to drink more water or whatever resolution to drink more water. And then you reflect, you ask yourself why, why didn't you? So you might say that when I woke up, actually the bottle by the side of my bed was empty. I was in a rush in the morning, so I didn't have time to fill up my bottle. You would reflect on that and you'd say, okay, what I can do to fix that is that I fill up my water bottle and keep it by the side of my bed before I go to bed at night when I'm not in a rush. You might say, oh, okay so when I got to work it was super busy and my water bottle was all the way over in the change rooms I didn't have time to walk over and get it solution carry your water around with you 
Another obstacle might have been that when you did drink the water, you only drank like two sips because you didn't really like the taste of it. Solution to that issue could be adding some lemon or some fruit or some squash to your water to make it more palatable. And then you get to T, try again, FRT. So you've failed, you've reflected, and then you try again. So the next day, you try again. So you've got your water bottle all filled up, ready to go. You've got a mini one that you carry around with you all day. You've got reminders set because you had forgotten the day before. You've got squash added to your water so that you enjoy it when you drink it, you actually want to drink it. And all these things will add up over time. You won't necessarily be perfect, but if you keep failing, reflecting and trying, it will add up over time until you form the habit, until you have learnt how you succeed in this area. Because we all, especially when it comes to health and fitness, we all have different avenues towards our definition of success. So for one person that might be a raw vegan diet, for another person that might be a meat eating diet, for another another person that might be athletics, for someone else it might be boxing, for another person it might be walks in the countryside, whatever it is, you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. So it's inevitable that you're gonna try stuff and, and fail. That's completely normal. But it's really important to know that that doesn't mean that you're a failure. It means you're just a normal person. Like any one of us, like me, just figuring it out and figuring out what works for you. Um, so just to encourage you, if you're struggling on your health and fitness journey, not to beat yourself up and not to stress because every single person, myself included, has failed at workouts, at diets, at whatever. All you've got to do is keep trying. We're all different. Your healthy lifestyle will look a little bit different than mine. And that's okay, that's super chill. It's just about looking after your body and loving your body. And again, this technique as well can obviously be applied to loads of other areas. So for example, applying to medical school, you know, you apply, you don't get in, you could say, oh, I failed, that's it, that's the end of the story. Whereas Jennifer actually did not accept that that was the end of the story, she reapplied. She went and did a biomed degree and reapplied and now she's a doctor. Cause she did not accept that she failed to get into med school. She was like, nah, reflect try again, okay? I'm really hungry now, so I wanna go eat. Um, but if you like this video, then let me know and I will do more like this. Um, also, if you want more pep talks like this, if you're looking for a plan to actually help you to succeed on your health and fitness journey, I can't recommend my Healthy at Home plan enough. The feedback I've been getting, it's been amazing and it's such a blessing. Thank you to everyone who's been sending me feedback of how they're finding the plan. It's so, so good to read how you're getting on. The plan is full of stuff like this, so, I don't know if you call this a pep talk, but the psychology aspect and the mental aspect of seeing success and the fact that it is a journey and you know it's gonna take some time and you're okay to have blips along the way. Um, and I do that by way of videos like this and by the voiceovers in my workout videos as well, encouraging you, getting that mindset set right so that you know that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a plan, then I will leave the link to my eight week home workout plan, Healthy at Home, you can do it anywhere though, you can do it at the gym as well. Um, I will leave that link in the description box of this video. Oh, okay, I'm really hungry now, so without further ado, I'm gonna go and eat my lunch. Um, I love you so much, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with a friend, and I will see you soon, bye.